Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yan Liangji, a postdoc in Professor Jin Pingsun's group from Tony University. Thank you for having me here. Today, the topic I'm going to talk about is proton MR study of the microstructure development during bleeding process of cement paste. Now, this work started from six years ago since we attended a conference in Beijing. At that time, we heard about the keyword uh, bleeding uh, in someone's research. So we came up with this idea that is, if we could use the uh, NMR to test the sample during a bleeding process, because the NMR is very sensitive to the uh, water in the microstructure, it may help us to get more understanding about the bleeding mechanism. That is our first thought. Today I'm going to show my presentation by this order. First is introduction. Now, bleeding is a phenomenon that water coming out from the fresh cement paste. Now, generally, the bleeding process can be divided into four stages. After mixing with water, the fresh cement paste can be considered as a uniform state. Then, because of the gravity difference between the cement and the water, the second stage of bleeding can be defined as sediment. It is like throw, throwing some sand to the water, the heavy stuff will drop down. After that, the space uh, between the particle to particles getting closer, the interactions become dominant, so it can be called as self-weight consolidation. It is like one uh, putting some uh, soil on the ground. After a week or longer time, uh, the soil gets a certain uh, sentiment. Uh, the final part is special compared to the sand in the river and the soil on the ground. Hydration happens from a different initial point because of the bleeding uh, influence on the cement paste. Now, systematically study on the bleeding mechanism is necessary because the bleeding will definitely impact on the volume stability, workability, uh, surface integrity of the building and also sometimes will impact on the durability of concrete. The next section is assessment of a bleeding extent. If we look at the cement paste with bleeding with naked eyes, bleeding water on the top and the cement paste below the bleeding water can be easily found. When we look at the cement paste carefully and closer, we also could find a transaction room uh, result from the diluted ground. But this water, you can see it, but you can't measure it. When we put the sample into the armor machine, we will find that three peaks have reached nice agreements with the uh, visual observation. It can be found that not only the bleeding water could be detected by the NMR machine, but also the microstructure could be characterized by the transverse relaxation time. All we need to do for calculation of the bleeding extent is just obtain the peaks error percentage of the bleeding peaks. Our previous results show that the bleeding results obtained with the NMR and the traditional method linearly correlated with each other. With the proposed method, we have found the air entraining agent will slightly reduce the bleeding while the retarding agent will increase the bleeding. Furthermore, in order to study the influence of PCE molecules on bleeding, different types of PCE are synthesized in our lab. Uh, in our experiment, the PCE dosages for the cement paste was gradually added when the flatity values reach uh, 300 mm. It can be found that the cement paste have same flatity but different bleeding extent and the PCE increase the uh, bleeding extent in general. The bleeding extent decreases with the acid to EC ratio. This graph shows that the comparison for the bleeding extent of cement paste mixed with PCE synthesized with different HPG molecule weight. The results show that the PCE synthesized with HPG uh, 
2,400 will result in higher bleeding extent. This result shows that compared with other types of PCE, a PCE synthesized with MA functional group will generate least value of bleeding on top of the cement paste. It can be seen the low field MR can help us to tell the bleeding difference between the cement paste mix mixed with different types of PCE. Next section, I will talk about the microstructure development during bleeding process. The most of the literatures will focus on the explanation of the bleeding extent, and a certain consolidation model can be adapted for predicting the bleeding of a cement-based material. However, the study concerning the simulation of the structure evolution underneath the cement paste during the bleeding has been rarely reported. If we make a metaphor, it seems that the doctor just care about how much blood coming out from the patients rather than the injuries on the patients themselves, so it's not okay. However, the NMR setup we used in previous study have a low resolution because we let whole sample being tested in the NMR. So uh, there are two questions need to be answered. First, is the specific structure development is still unknown. A second is the hydration of the cement paste with bleeding can refine the uneven state or not. Therefore, a high-resolution NMR method which can test the microstructure development of the cement paste with bleeding are needed. The left graph is the setup we use in our study. Its testing resolution could be smaller to one millimeter. So with a slow step in the motor, the microstructure development could be measured. In this study, for the microstructure development, uh, before the first six hour, a TV measurement on the two points position uh, are measured. For the hydration part, water ratio profile was obtained from the high spin re relaxation uh, during the six to 72 hours. And the result shows that the water ratio at the top position will keep uh, decreasing until it reaches constant range of values. Compared with pollen cement, the slag cement have uh, both longer uh, sentiment time and consolidation time. This slide shows that sentiment and consolidation time of the sample can be delayed by increasing the water to cement ratio. Now, for the sample with one percentage of PCE dosage, the data in upper position of sample shows a continuously increase of relative amplitude and decrease of relaxation rate. We think the cement paste mixed with large amount of PCE will act more like cinemate rather than the consolidation. We have obtained the experimental data about the microstructure development. Is that possible to simulate the microstructure development during a bleeding process? With some uh, boundary conditions and uh, relationship between the wider ratio and uh, uh, effective uh, stress, Morris has solved the govern equations for the microstructure development during the bleeding process. Now we can get the small strain consolidation model and the finite strain consolidation model. Um, by normalizing the water ratio and compare them with the experimental data, we can optimize the parameters. It was found that both the model can simulate the microstructure evolution during the uh, bleeding process, and for the finite strain model, are uh, more uh, reliable to predict the um, structure development during a consolidation process for fresh cement paste. This means when we have a cement paste with bleeding, you uh, and we want to get to know the what happened underneath the sample. We suggest uh, we could we should use the finite model to predict it. The last uh, section I'm going to talk about is the hydration property of cement paste with bleeding. 
The signal within the dash line was to definite the bleeding water and the cement paste. Um, because the transaction zone we, we uh, put in the graph uh, is not completely linear related to the distance as predicted by the consolidation model. Now, if we don't take the transaction zone into consideration and somehow we calculate the slope of the water ratio against the distance of a sample, we can get uh, the, this result in the figure um, 4.2. Uh, in this graph, uh, hydration for the cement paste with large bleeding can aggregate the heterogeneous properties. The relationship between the bleeding thickness and the slope of MR profile various distance can be found in figure 4.3. First, uh, linear relationship between the two parameters are found. The hydration uh, between 6 to 72 hours can uh, increase the slope. I, I mean, it close to zero. When bleeding thickness is smaller than 4.35 mm, this indicates uh, bleeding water can refine the microstructure when cement paste has less bleeding. The last section is about the conclusion and uh, outlooks. Time is up, so I just skip the conclusion part. About the outlooks, the bleeding can cause injuries on the cement paste, as shown in this presentation, we think the ways like putting some special made powders may cure the injuries. We also think the NMR could be used for the internal bleeding study in future if it allow large sample to be tested. That's all. Thank you for your time.